What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Young Dub coming at y'all with another video. Uh, just doing an update here that I've been thinking about for a minute. Uh, I did order these products a while ago. Um, honestly, these probably been sitting around since October, but um, never got around to opening the package. Uh, I was messing around today in the lab. Uh, cut the package open and seeing what it was. So I was like, you know what? Um, I think I'll make a video. And then um, there was something else in the lab that's been the thorn in my ass. And we'll get around to that. But it's kind of, they'll connect. So um, y'all know I'm working on the build for uh, 2020. Uh, haven't got started on it yet, anything like that. Um, but I've said in previous videos, I need to go ahead and sit down and get the pen and the pad and start putting stuff together and going from there. Uh, so I will get started on things. Um, I was, I've been looking into a product that I said I probably wouldn't run, but I may run it. Uh, so those of y'all that are friends with me on Facebook, don't be surprised if you see a, a couple of items on sale, man. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. Like I said, I need to sit down, uh, get the pen and the pad and put things in a confirmation of my mind and go from there. Uh, but as far as this update, like I said, y'all see the packages open. So let me go ahead and slide this stuff on out. Uh, this is some products from Ill Customs. Uh, Ill Customs is, um, uh, that's a company I've been messing with for a while as far as, um, you know, like dual amp inputs and, um, let's see, dual amp inputs and things like that. Uh, definitely, uh, these here. I'm going to just rip it open. That's going to make it easy. So there you go. You see the eel. Hopefully you can see the eel on that. Looks like it's coming through on the camera. Uh, this is the positive terminal. Uh, this is not the first time that y'all seen uh, something like this on this channel. Uh, like I said, I've been messing with this company for the last couple of years. Uh, so these are six spot terminals for your battery. Uh, last year I did have this, uh, these things mounted in the Malibu, uh, running all that good old OFC wire. Should have 12 of these screws in here. Uh, hopefully it does. I'm not going to go all the way through and through with that. But, uh, like I said, I was out in the lab today. I was looking at something. Uh, so I did decide to go ahead and open these up, uh, to take a look and see what was in there. Uh, I guess, you know, make sure it was in there. Cause like I said, I ordered them a couple months ago. But let me grab this other piece. And while I grab this piece, pay attention to how easy I do this. This is a North Star battery. Now, if you know anything about North Star and AGMs, where it says AGM right there, there's no way in hell, unless I'm He-Man, or just, I don't know, on steroids or whatever, me personally, I cannot lift these with one, not swinging it around like that. And just said that this table honestly probably wouldn't, if this was a real North Star battery, the table probably wouldn't be strong enough to hold it. Um, this is a case battery, uh, kind of like the DIY excess power batteries that are battery deletes. I've been trying to sell this thing since October. I put on Facebook as, hey, you know, if you're running lithium, Genlong specifically, you want to do a battery delete or even lithium in general, you want to do a battery delete. You can't, I mean, if it's the daily driver, uh, I know with Limitless, you can run AGM. That's what I had in the Malibu. I had an AGM up front and a Limitless in the rear. Uh, but if you want to see the best performance from your lithium battery, you want to do a battery delete. That's why I had listed this as a battery delete. Go ahead and grab it. I had thousands and thousands of messages from Facebook. People don't freaking read. So I said, you know what? Let me make it a little bit easier on them. I'm not even going to say battery delete because maybe everybody's not in the car audio. They don't know what it is. I went ahead and said, dude, it's a fake battery. Do not inbox me unless you understand that this battery is fake. It's not real. All people paid attention to was, oh man, it's North Star and it says AGM at the top of it. Yes, that's true. But if you read, I said it's a fake battery. The only person that understood that inboxed me and said, hey man, uh, can that battery open up? I said, you know, I'm not sure about it. Uh, I, I don't want to do that because I, you know, still trying to sell it. He was like, well, I want to break the battery open so I can hide it under my hood and put my gun in it. I said, okay, well, <laughs> that's completely up to you. I said, you can buy the battery or, you know, like battery delete. Um, what you decide to do with it after that is completely up to you. Whatever happens, 
uh, that's on you, man. So he was like, well, let me think about it. Never heard from that guy again. Yesterday, uh, I had another individual uh, message me on Facebook, and I got to the point to where I started screenshotting people and saying, I guess people just don't read. Uh, he was another individual. Hey, man, what's up with the AGM battery? I said, did you read the post? Oh, yeah, I seen it. So I looked at the pictures. I said, okay, that's that's good. Did you read the post? He said, give me a second. Supposedly, he went and read the post, and then he was like, yeah, can I get that battery? I said, okay, so if you read the post, you do understand that this battery is fake, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, but it says AGM at the top. I was like, dude, if I keep telling you it's a fake battery, I don't give a damn if it says AGM right there. I said, it's, it's a case that looks like it's a real battery. It's fake. People don't read. So instead of uh, continuing to go through with that with the people who don't read, I said, you know what? Since I got these, I plan on run, running lithium again this year. Let me go ahead and just hold on to it. And what I'll do, unfortunately, these posts, uh, I guess you can't see it now. The posts up here are too wide uh, for the custom, ill custom build. So, hopefully y'all just seen that. I went ahead and broke the battery open since I decided to go ahead and keep it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is replace these posts, uh, get them down, I believe 5 16th is what those, um, is what these ill customs fit into. Uh, if it's a little bit bigger, uh, we'll go from there and see what happens. Maybe 9 16, something like that. Uh, but we'll get that going. So I decided to go ahead and break this open. I'm gonna keep it and replace these posts. Uh, so I'll just do the battery delete in the Tahoe. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete that post on Facebook and get all that madness over with. So hopefully I didn't go on too much of a rant there. Just read people. When you sell stuff on Facebook, it annoys the hell out of me in the first place because people, I mean, I, I don't, if you want to bargain on things, great. If I say price is firm, it's, it's firm. So I'm not selling it because I uh, necessarily need your money. I'm just going in a different direction. Um, but all things going along, uh, y'all know me. Um, sometimes I buy stuff from DS18. That is a sticker. Recently bought stuff from Resilient Sounds. That is a sticker. And the guy that I am, I buy stuff all the time and I may or may not keep it. This is gonna be one of those times where I don't keep it. So, these are some Orion dual copper amp uh, inputs. It's giveaway time. So, uh, what I'm gonna do in this video here, I'm gonna go ahead and give away the Orion pure copper dual amp inputs. We're gonna go ahead and throw in a Resilient Sound sticker. And we're going to throw in the DS-18 sticker. So all you have to do is comment on this video. I'm not doing nothing special as far as picking numbers or anything like that. Only thing I'm going to do, we'll have this giveaway open till next Friday. Uh, so uh, let me see if I get my phone here. Today is fr uh, Thursday, February 20th. Tomorrow will be the 21st. So I'll keep this open till Friday the 28th. Um, let's call it 7 p.m. I know I'm good for that one. Uh, so next Friday, February 28th, I'll close the giveaway and just pick a random person. I'm not going to spend a number thing or anything like that. I'm just going to pick a random person. All you have to do is comment giveaway under this video. I'll go ahead and throw you a thumbs up or a love on the comment. Um, if we can get, I think I'm at 1,038 subscribers. Share the video. Get us to 1,050 subscribers by next Friday by 7 p.m., and all you have to do, if that person, they can subscribe, they don't comment, they're not eligible for the giveaway. So you have to be subscribed, you have to comment giveaway, and just wait for it on Friday. Uh, like I said, I'll probably just scroll through the comments, uh, pick a random individual, and uh, tell them to send me their information, man, and we'll get these products out to you. So I know I usually do a number thing, something like that. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to pick a random person. So like I said, like the video. Comment giveaway, be subscribed. Try to get me to 1050 by next week. We good to go. I'll start sending that stuff out. So y'all know the deal. Any questions, comments, concerns, I'll try to get back to everybody, man. It's your boy Young Dub. I'm out. Stay positive.